Welcome back. Wow. Look at that. Whoa, not bad. <laughs> he saw that trick. Yeah. <laughs> he saw nuts. Talk about a surprise attack. If you stay on your board tomorrow, you'll walk away with the contest. I can't. It's full. I worked so hard to get a sponsorship from Stacy Peralta. Stacy Peralta? I know that dude. He was my first sponsor too back in the 80s. Is he still into yoga? That's one thing, dude. <laughs> yep. Cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, I forgot I we got the Tevas. Too. That's right. I'll talk to the guys at the contest. Just show up tomorrow. I'm rocking my Tevas today. Ah, oh, here you go. In honor of Dee's. Yeah. 2004. That's right. Every now and then cutscenes add some music. So just talk over it so we don't get copyrighted. <laughs> these nuts. Got it. Don't worry. We're not getting stricken on this one. Dude, we got to kill the cop. <laughs> my favorite, my famous D's nuts. My famous D's nuts. My famous my nuts. <laughs> Ryan Clements. Best two out of three runs. Stay inside on the street course. Oh, we got to stay inside on the street course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. We're just going to do some tricks. Is this Rob Deardex, uh famous factory? Uh, what this, was is, this is before he had a factory. Yeah, what was it? Um... What was it? The Fun oh, Factory? Uh, Fantasy Factory. Fantasy Factory. That's right. They had that foam uh, ball pit where you could uh, launch yourself into the foam. Oh, yeah, dude. Shit was dope. Do you ever see the video of that uh, girl that, um, like, went to go, like, pounce in? Wow. Pretty good, pretty good score. That's not bad. Uh, okay. Oh, Rob Moronic is fucking But and look at Big Al Russell coming up coming up the coming up the rear. Um the video of the um chick that like goes to pounce in a uh foam one of those foam pits, but it's too shallow. She was a game show host. Or not a game show, but like some sort of like gaming channel host. And she um, it wasn't Olivia Munn, was it? No, mm -mm. no. But she like went in there, um, and ooh, that ooh sucks. man, wow, not good, not good. Rob Marona killing, killing the game. Oh, it's cumulative score. Yeah, it's not like it's, the well, best. It's best of three. But, so like my my lowest score will not count. Oh, okay. Shit. I need to bust out something big here. Dude, you know what to do. Fuck. Did it not work? Nope. Do it now. Yes! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I can still string one more. Yes! <laughs> oh! You Dude, I bet that's hundreds. That's, that's gotta be. Oh, oh come on! You fucking French ass judges. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. <laughs> I don't think that's PC, buddy. Yeah, probably not. So she like goes to like pounce in this thing, and she goes for like you know the butt stomp, right? Like like you would do on a um, trampoline. Mm -hmm. But the foam is too shallow, and she just bare asses it on like this concrete floor and like broke her oh, back. Oh fuck! Yeah. You just have to jump up, grab on, and pull yourself up. I'll find it. Yeah, yeah, find it for me. I'm interested. Oh, there's a ladder here. That's Okay, well, that makes sense. Oh. Can I grab it from behind? Can I can I grab it from behind? Oh, there we go. There we go. Adriana uh, Adriana Chekik breaks her back at TwitchCon foam pips. Damn. Yeah, I'll I'll uh Oh, I gotta stay on the rooftops. Oh shit! Oh, okay, cool. I made it. Yeah, she had uh, she had some issues. Oh, I gotta stay on the rooftop. Stupid fucking asshole! God damn it! God, God. Oh, just switch it. Hell yeah. Best 
trick competition. Here are the rules. <laughs> you know the rules for the best trick. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I can do this with one trick. See, I want a skateboarding movie that's like Happy Gilmore, where, you know, Happy has one thing. He's got the long ball. He's got the long drive, right? He has to learn accuracy in the short game later on. But I want a skateboarding movie where, you know, it's like our character D's. But he just has that one ridiculous trick. He's just got one trick. But he can barely, like, you know, ollie or grind or nothing else. It's just that one trick. It's like uh, the movie with uh, Dennis Quaid where he was the pitcher and he could, like, wind it up and then, you know, it was really fast. That's what I'm thinking of? No. No. That wasn't Dennis Quaid. It was a... Dennis uh, Quaid was in The Rookie. The Rookie. What was the one... I think it was like a Disney Channel movie where he like broke his wrist, but when it's set. Oh, you're thinking of Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he could like pitch like a 100 mile an hour fastball because of the way that his arm was set with the tendons and, you know, he like, you could hear. Yeah, yeah. The uh, tendons have healed a little tight. All right, time to end this competition. Yes. <laughs> Like I probably don't even need to do anything anymore. Look at how look at how far, like how many more points I have than anybody else. Is your score up at the top of the special bar? Up left, yeah. Oh, and then Eric Sparrow, the has jackass. Forty-eight. Yeah, he's got fifty thousand. Wow. I have a hundred and fifty thousand. Jeez. So how do the custom tricks work? Like, do you get a special amount, or is it like one set amount? Uh, oh, on how it determines your points for yeah. a custom. So it depends on like how long each like portion of the trick is held, mm. uh, the complexity of the trick that you add to okay. it. So it's a custom amount. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like each one has like a state, a staple amount, and then depending on how you like manipulate the the sequencing, you can get a certain. I think it caps out, and I don't think it's as much as like uh, like the nine hundred is. I think the highest. Of the actual special tricks. But you're doing two 1440s. I am. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> I just gotta do beat him in one minute. <laughs> you know this. what to do. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, no. Yeah, that, that might kill me. I uh, might be back in it now. Oh, you went over him. Over his helmet? You went over my helmet? Oh, yeah, I'm way over him. Do it, do it, do it now. Yes! <laughs> All I'm hearing to my left is Yeah, right? <laughs> Fuck, I didn't even have to try. I have one trick. <laughs> yeah! Check it out, Jeez. baby! Now we get the big sponsorship. <laughs> Fuck Eric. you, Eric. Fuck you, Eric. Skate, Look at my man. fucking hammies. Hey. Talk to the damn kid. I gotta give it to you. That run was bullshit. <laughs> no, in a good way though. I'm gonna have to put you on Element. Bottom line. So Element is Bam Margera's line. Uh, he... No, they existed before. Oh, Bam. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. I'm an amateur, baby. Time to check out some videos and see which sponsor best fits your style. Wow. The choice is yours. Oh, I love the promos. Yeah, you got to get some promos. Sean oh, White? Sean White's going to fucking break your fucking board. Bucky Lassick? I, I always don't know if it's Lassick or Lasik. I it, thought it was Lasik. How were his eyes? Right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> 
Vinny Vegas. Matt Ball. <laughs> Spaghetti and Matt Balls. Right. Yeah, the element video is kind of dumb because it's just Bam with a voiceover. He's like, yeah, I fucking love Philadelphia, man. I fucking just, you know, me and Don Vito fucking shit fucking assholes and fucking, you know, eating each other's butts and shit and fucking, you know, I was on jackass and fucking, but now I'm not because I fucking, uh, fucking won't drink and shit in front of fucking Steve-O and fuck shit, fuck, man. (laughs) <laughs> that's all it is that's the whole video wow <clears throat> so when I played this as a kid I would almost always go with element and every now and then I did girl and why uh, I don't know I, I just I always liked Were I you really into Bam Margera I was really into Jackass and Bam Margera every nice. fucking kid was yeah I did like I just like the girl graphics yeah, and actually, I still do. I think Girl is probably currently my favorite in terms of just their their graphic output. I like their style and shit. Dude, is that a forty? Probably. Edward forty. I don't know. I don't know what this has to do. Okay, now I got it. It's the flip. This kid gets it. Wow. Everything sucks. Except skating. Except skating. Except when you suck. So that's a nolly. Yes, I think so. In into a kickflip. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nailed it. Whoa. That guy's so good he doesn't even need a board. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I've never used zero. And it's, uh, <clears throat> I think Jamie Thomas was on zero during this time. That's the other thing, too. You think, I think other than Tony Hawk and Birdhouse and how he's been with them forever, a lot of pro skaters, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are a handful of pro skaters that have been with the same sponsor their entire time, but there's there's plenty of them that jump around, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're not beholden to one. I'm sure they have, like, contracts. Like anything, they have they have like a, you know x number of years, and <clears throat> after after those years are done, maybe they decide maybe I'll still maybe I'll renew with them or try a different brand or whatever. So everybody's everybody's got their thing. Peraltas. Now we get to choose. We get to choose. We get to choose a, an amateur sponsor. Moving on up in the world, bud. Hell yeah. So who do we want to join? I'll let you pick because I always do this. Who do you want? Who do you want to be a part of? Um, I like the dude that didn't have the skateboard, so I'm gonna go with girl. Sweet, yeah. Joining girl. All right, baby. Yeah, dude, look at our fucking Christmas colors. Dude, oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> super Christmas. <clears throat> All right, let's check out our decks. Let's see what kind of decks we got, dude. Sweet deck. Kind of like that fucking blanket. That's not bad. I kind of like the perp. You, which one? Dude, this one or, or that one? That one. This one? You want to do that? God, that clashes so hard with the wheels. I know. It's really fucking with my eyes. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we go with the grip tape and wheels. Hell yeah. Or we want to change up the wheels. To what? Green. Oh, you want to go with the green? You want to do all Christmas? Let's do fucking Christmas, dude. Fucking... <laughs> Oh, it's because the left doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know that that kind of uh, like neon just on the green side of teal kind of look pretty sweet. Like that? Like that looks pretty sweet. You like that? That looks kind of sweet. One more, right there. Right there. That looks. I'm okay with that. Fuck, this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> We're sticking with the red grip tape, though. It's up to you. <clears throat> 
What other grip tape colors do we have? We got green. <laughs> we got blue. We got red. Hmm. I like red. What about colored nuts? Should we color these nuts? <laughs> we could color the. No, we can't color the nuts. But I wish we could. It we said, could. I, I saw it somewhere. You saw colored nuts? I saw colored nuts somewhere. Fuck. Well, it's too late now. We'll change it next time we go to the skate shop. Okay. San Diego. San Diego. Dude, he's just getting around. Dude, this is the this is the fucking tour. This is what you got to do to become a pro skateboarding boy. Okay, kids. Are you watching? This is what you got to do to this make it. This is what you got to do. You got to eat a burger. Hey, you got to eat a burger. Two up? of them, really. Yeah. The okay? Yeah, are you Todd, the team manager? Uh. Look, I gotta finish this meal before I go out to eat. So here's my <laughs> yes. You like that, do you? you get, the more crazy tricks you land, the more tours and free gear for you. Okay? Just push yourself, show us your skittles, and everything is cool. Skittles. Skills. Skittles means skills. What are you from Idaho? Hey, look, the film is here to shoot some other guys. Go pick it up. I don't think that's a real thing. Coverage, right? <laughs> skittles. <laughs> yeah, skittles. I don't know. And also, yeah, you see, because we're with Girl now, we have a new theme. Yeah. So we have some different colors going on. Yeah, that's the, uh, pretty clever. So, yeah, there's a lot of cool, like, little little yeah. world building. Yeah. Lincoln going on. It makes everything real uh, real tight. Real tight. Now we got to prove ourselves. Can you go to the San Diego oh, Zoo? Dude, I saw Oh, dude, his taint is just is, wide yes. open. <laughs> It's because his, his legs are too thick, really. <laughs> I heard it's called the Gooch. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You've seen that video, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Uh, he's 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 bleeding um, between, you know, the area between his balls and his asshole. Oh, it's called the Gooch. Oh, yeah, his Gooch is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get a little more difficult. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, triple. A triple kick. Yeah. Nee, nee. I gotta get more speed. Hey, you're a little jet lagged. I mean, you know, you were just in Florida yesterday. Damn it, fucking controller. How did it not register? Dude, I'm loving the fucking color coordination we got going on there. <laughs> Hell yes. All right. Oh, I did tr fucking triple. God damn it. <laughs> did you not want to do triple? No, I can, I'm only supposed to do double. Oh. That's okay. Just listen to me walking. There we go. Got it. Man, you're killing this spot. Let's get another big trick. Do the biggest. Do the biggest one. Nice. Double impossible. That seems fucking ridiculous. Yo, do two impossibles shit. make a probable? Yeah. You're unconscious? Yeah. You hit your head? Or is that is that is that props? Is that kudos? Yeah, I think it's I think it's props. What is kudos? Uh, like I know I know how people use it colloquially. They were uh, granola, uh, granola bars back in the day. They were? You remember kudo, kudos bars? Yeah, but like, so when someone says, hey, you know, great job on the job interview, you know, kudos. Yeah. That was a reference to the bars? Yep. Oh. The dark side. Dark slide? The dark slide. Dark slide, yeah. It's when you grind on your grip tape. Your grip tape. But didn't, wasn't there a um, skater that made that famous? Yeah, uh, Rodney Mullen. So there's the the Mullen dark side as well. Ah. Fuck me in the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fucking. I'm, I can't use the D-pad anymore because it's fucking not working. Should we clean it again? I mean, we could try, but I don't know if it's gonna do anything. I kind of wanted to do the fucking. I want to do my nuts over the <laughs> yes. twenty stack. Yes. I want to. I want to see. <laughs> let's see if this fucking works. <laughs> right, let's see if we can do it. 
Yes. Oh, landed it. Landed. Where is your photographer for that? Just right? seeing a giant red and green blur. Just. Yes. I missed it. Do you do you get to go to the zoo on this map? No, not in this one. The, there was actually a zoo in Tony Hawk 4, though. Was there? There was a, a zoo level, yeah. That's bananas. Oh, what are we going to do for cubs? See what I did there? There's one that nobody will volunteer. Asshole. <laughs> what are we doing for coverage? There, nobody wants to volunteer There's anymore. There's a bunch of flower boxes up on that sketchy ledge. And they want a picture of one of us grinding some of them down. What is this guy? Kozar. We got to grind some of these fucking flower boxes. Guess what? You're it's up, up to you, newbie. <laughs> Look at my arms just clip down. through my belly like that. It's yeah, fucking cool, yes. huh? Yes. To be fair, this does actually kind of look like where the zoo is in San Diego. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. I fucked up. But it's outside the view. There's like a... Um, fuck. God damn it. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dude, full taint. Okay. Stay balanced, stay balanced, stay balanced. There we go. Nice. Oh, there's a pro. Oh, look at that. Mm, That's nice. huge. Fucking Trying to impress huge. that pro. Like, look at me, bro. Pro. Bro, I'm a super pro. You don't even know, pro. God, my stats are just increasing like a mother bitch. Yes! Fuck, I'm so good. Look at how fucking good I am. You don't even fucking know, dude. Oh, yeah. Yes! Jeez. Fucking, fucking see that shit? This guy's just going full ninja Jedi hey, on the skateboard. You jump over this horse from way back on that rooftop? <laughs> you know yeah. it. Hey. Get special and do a 540 flip over the horse and then acid drop onto the quarter pipe. Hey, get special and then do a 540 acid drop over this horse. <laughs> hey, man. He's doing his best. I know, but I love it. It's it's endearing. It really is. Shows you, you know. It's commitment of, of the source material that these, you know. You, 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 come, you come from nothing. And then you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, his fucking shorts can't contain. <laughs> God, it's amazing. Ah, oh. damn it. Get the flip. Get the 540 flip. Fuck. I keep Left side. Yeah, but I'm doing with the stick now. Oh. Give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. There it is. Oh, so the board flip 540. Yeah. Yeah, not a uh, not like you rotated oh, 540. Oh, right in my nuts. D's nuts. Right in D's nuts. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's bleeding. He's bleeding um, in the area between his balls and his asshole. It's called the gooch. Yeah, his gooch is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> what up, rookie? We're gonna shoot some stuff for you tech stuff. Ralphie. Oh, I guess this will be the last thing I do because time went up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, fine. We're just fucking around. Oh, fuck. Okay. So a trick flip is different than a kick flip. No, it's the same thing. It is. Yeah. Then why is it named different things? Okay. Oh, I need to do a pop shove it. Yeah, dude, pop shove it. All right, newbie, you want coverage? You gotta get creative. You nail oh. this run. Your picture will be in a magazine after. You know what to do. Oh, <laughs> you. I know what to do. I'll call out the tricks, and the team photographer will snap the. That's not creative. Yeah, that's. <laughs> you just worry about busting them over the spine transfer on the statue. Rock and roll, kid. <laughs> Done. <laughs> hmm. 
Melon. Melon. You flip. When I played Tony Hawk, I didn't know any of the commands. I just I just button mashed midair. Yeah. I pulled off some sweet combos that well, way though. Yeah, for sure. Oh shit, wrong thing. But it looked good. Melon. Impossible. Indie. Andy, cover your heart. <laughs> you need to make a trick. <laughs> that is Indy cover your hat. Where you do an indie and then cover your hat. <laughs> and I lose my hat underneath the fucking <laughs> yeah, yes. We are going to die. Did did they kibosh the new one? Or is that still happening? It's still happening. Oh god. Yeah. No, oh, no. All right, well, you're gonna. We're just gonna. We'll, we'll have to talk about it on the next episode. Because I don't. Did you? Did you ever see uh, Crystal Skull Kingdom? Yes, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I did. Did you? Yeah. Did you? I did not like. I did not like the film. Yeah. 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 On on the, who would win official cinematic scale? <laughs> not a good movie. <laughs> Oh, okay. not, not not a great film. Not a great film. Not a not, not a great, great film. film. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. No, you hate to you hate to see it. I don't I don't mind the premise. Like some people are like it's Indiana Jones, but now there's like aliens. But and it's stuff. like Area Fifty One and which makes sense. I, I mean, mean especially for the time. I know it's supposed to take place in the fifties. Yeah. I just don't think it was executed or written that well. And that goes along with the Indiana Jones kind of lore, where it's realistic old world serial traveling kind of adventure guy but mm -hmm. with like some supernatural angles going on in the background as well right but still based in history mm -hmm. which is really because the crystal skulls yeah. actually exist yeah like you know like a lot of people when that movie came out because i was um an ancient aliens aficionado yeah you're you're deep into it i was pretty balls deep nuts deep um uh, a lot of people were like, "Yeah, I don't get it. What's with these you know, like skulls and you know, what the fucking aliens?" And it's not Indiana Jones. I'm like, actually, like, there's some interesting stuff there, but it was not well done. Not done well. No, it was not um, done well. I think it could have been. Yeah, yeah. I really wish, and and I need to look at the footage of it because there is a point and click computer adventure called Indiana Jones and the Fate of, Fate of Atlantis. Hmm. And I always thought that would that would have be been an awesome Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, with the Atlantis lore tied into it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm such a sucker for anything Atlantis related. Yeah. So. The I guess the I guess what people wanted is for Indy to like try to track down a very famous artifact of history because that's what like you know like Raiders of the Lost Ark and right. um, Last Crusade were really about 100%. tracking down. Um, and then by by story development, tracking down and then like peacefully letting letting it go at the end, you know, like the the arc. It's like you know, I well, Indy had to let it go, but he was like very wary of the thing. And then it was you know put in the uh, storage in the facility, which you know, yeah, kind of came back around to like Area Fifty One and King of the Crystal Skull. Um, and then the um, uh, Grail, like falling down into the pit and everything. And Indiana. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Name the dog Indiana. <laughs> he named after the dog. Oh, I so love good that dog. I love that dog. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, what other big artifacts that uh, have been lost to history that would have been good? I mean, Dead Sea Scrolls. Well, they found the Dead Sea Scrolls. More Dead yeah. Sea Scrolls. And I would like them because they've already leaned. They've they've done two heavy christianity ones yeah so like because you know i could sit here and talk about there's there's so much of that lore though like you know the real uh final resting cloth you know because there is the shroud, shroud of Turin, of Turin. but like yeah. you know what's where's the actual real one kind mm -hmm. of thing or uh the the cross you know pieces of the real cross mm -hmm. uh saint relics there's so much of that shit yeah. but like i would love to see some other culture represented in there as well and that's why i like i think Liberal. temple temple of doom gets so much <laughs> flack but i think it's a good movie i think it's an enjoyable movie i like temple of doom yeah yeah i mean after watching it i mean i didn't i don't not like it right exactly. i mean it's not my favorite of the films but i mean you're sure. you're also like you know it's 
it's like Star Wars, but you have two Empire Strikes Back yeah. with three films. Yeah. I like, I think like uh, something in like Mesopotamia or like, you know, Central Americas would be pretty fucking badass. Yeah. El Dorado type stuff. Yeah. Um, that would have been great. Or even like. That, that's kind of what they did with Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Like that was South America. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, like, you know, a lost city of gold. Yeah. Would be kind of interesting. That would be cool. Or, uh, but then you kind of get into um, national treasure type stuff, which uh, was kind of like yeah, the lesser. I guess so because they did that in the second one. Did they, I've never? I never saw this. I only saw the first national treasure. I think the first one holds up. I think the first it's one not was bad. Good. Yeah. yeah, it, it really. I isn't think it was that interesting. Bad. You yeah. know, John Voight, mm-hmm. Christopher Plummer, and then for a uh, little bit, the guy who looks exactly like our buddy Matt Hacker. Yes, who's Riley in Poole. The hangover. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just refer to as Riley Poole. Yeah. But. Looks just like Matt. Just Hacker. looks like Matt Hack. Matt, if you're listening, I hope you are. I, I hope so. Um, but yeah, there's. I mean, yeah, there's. There's a bunch of that stuff, like fucking uh, old old Viking legends. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have your Eastern Asia as well. There's, there's yeah. untouched stuff. Do you know there. that there is actually a maybe not a not a tomb, but there is a chamber that is not allowed to be open in like. China, it's like an ancient Chinese chamber yeah. that is not allowed to be opened. What's the name of it? I forget, but we okay. have to look it up because it's actually really interesting. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot. There's, I mean, fuck, the, you know, the world's f- fucking old. R- you know, relative to the age of the universe, not that old, but still, like, for our existence, I think civilization is older than we realize. There is so many. There's a lot of cool angles that an Indiana Jones type character mm-hmm. could play. And they Egypt. I guess you could do I guess they kind of did it with, you know, Tomb Raiders a similar character as well. Yeah. And she's got a lot of that great a mm-hmm. lot of fucking cool shit. The the first game has uh its own representation of Atlantis and I never knew that until playing it. Yeah. Just recently. Yeah. Maybe th- that might be an interesting one for the channel. Ooh, we, Tomb Raider. Either I've never played. Okay. I think what we should do then yeah. is the remake that they did in like, I want to say it was like 2012 or something like that. I have it on Xbox. Yeah. yeah. And it plays it plays more like Resident Evil 4, that over-the-shoulder mm-hmm. kind of action. Interesting, uh, yeah. But it's like, it's supposed to be like the origin story. Interesting. I fucking adore that game. And it yeah. controls a lot better. Like, I do like, I've, I've garnered a deeper appreciation of the original tomb raider games but they're a bit of a slog yeah they, it's the controls are you really well, have to get used to we, it we know you and uh and you really have to early 3d platforming man it's i tell you what i'm i'm happy that i play it by myself and only by myself i'll, yeah. I'll tell you that much yeah but this the remake is fucking gorgeous yeah and it's but really does it well have huge pointy titties okay Okay. They downplayed it. Oh. <laughs> but man, when she crawls and you get to see dead ass. Oh, okay. All right. They just move, switch per- perceptions from they. She's still one to the other. They do a good job of because I think they. I can't remember who they model her after, but they they do a good job of that line of you know more than conventionally attractive, but also. Within the realm, believably, of- believably a rough and tumble kind of person yeah. that can. I mean, she barely handles it. She gets fucked up in this game, and I love yeah. that about it too. Like she, this is no fucking uh, superhero type uh, Ray situation. Skywalker situation. Like yeah. Mary she, Sue, she absolutely gets fucking owned. And the death, dude. If you die in this game, it's it's brutal. I'm not going to say in. anything I'm because in. it is. It's fucking brutal and it's amazing. Yes, I'm but in. I think Sold. I think you'll like it, and I think this one is. I think it is actually Central America. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! It's not. It's it's uh, Japan. Okay. It's Japan. Yeah. I like Japan. There's a lot of. It's really mm-hmm. cool. I think maybe we should do that on. Should the we next play one. DOA. What's the oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> For the just the complete opposite, we gotta do. We still gotta do Mortal Kombat versus DC as well. Oh my god, that's, that's right. That's gotta be the fighting game that, to start with. Yes, of all fighting games that have a story mode, we have to play that story we gotta mode. We fucking play that. 
Oh, we got man, we got some Fucking exciting stuff heat. coming up on the channel. We just we just brainstormed that. Just we now. just we really did. Yeah, because we didn't have any plans. You guys got to see this. This is going to happen live. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You guys are here for the inception of the next generation. Oh, uh, all right. This episode's gone. This is on this like, is like our Marvel phase long. two. It really is. Yeah. yeah Who would win here. phase eleven? Phase seventeen. <laughs> Season eight. <laughs> Out of the f- the four games that we have completed, this is phase. Hey, seven. we're doing good. I think it's more than four. Uh, actually, yeah. There's always games that I forget that we played. Too. Yeah, we did Metroid. We did. Um, I always forget we did Mega Man X Four. Yeah, Mega Man. Yeah. Um, Ninja Turtles. That's that's currently yeah headed that, up. That, that's uh, wrapping up. Yep. Uh, Arkham. Arkham. I need to get. Uh, Af- yeah, Arkham was a big one. Um, mm-hmm. Resident Evil Four was another one. Those were our longest playthroughs. Um, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, we mm-hmm. did that. We did that. What were like the first games we did? We didn't finish Super, Super Mario, Mario 64. 64. <laughs> didn't finish it. Nope. What did we play after that? What was like the second game we played? Pokemon. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, we did Pokemon. Pokemans. Pokemon. And then something else after that too that I'm forgetting. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to look was, it up. Maybe it was just Metroid. I don't remember, man. We've had, we've we've got quite a few series. We got quite a few. Se- we got. We have. So check out the playlist. We have more videos. Smash those yeah. buttons. We have more videos than subscribers. Like and subscribe. Currently. So if you can help us bump that some bitch up, yeah. So we can continue to play this amazing game and maybe some more amazing games, including Marvel vs. DC, <laughs> and Dead or Alive. <laughs> Eight? Which one do you have? I forget. It's, yeah, eight or yeah, nine or seven, four, 69. five. I think it's five. Six, yeah, Dead or Alive is 69. Dude. With the boob physics. Dead or Alive 69. I, yeah. They should have just named it that the whole time. They should have, yeah. They're like, uh, they, we're going to start working on Dead or Alive 7. Yeah, nope. We're going to no, change the name. No, nope. changing that name. It's going to be 69. Y'all got to change that name. Yeah, y'all got to change that name. Oh fuck! All right, so well, just join us. Join us. Uh, join us in the next round when uh, we find out who will win. Who will win? I don't know. Okay, we'll see you.